It totally just looks like, hi, my mom was an it girl in the late 80s and 90s and she passed down this bag. Welcome back to my channel in today's video. I'm so excited because I'm sharing my newest favorite bag. Today I'm gonna be doing a review of the Louis Vuitton Papillon 26, which is a vintage piece from Louis Vuitton. So if you would like to know more about this baby, if I think you need it, the pros and the cons, all my thoughts and opinions, then please keep watching. Okay, you guys, I'm so excited to do this video because I purchased the Louis Vuitton Papillon back in maybe January or February, and I was scouring the internet and could not find a comprehensive review. Now y'all know, one thing that I love to do is review a good item, product, food, vacation resort, anything of the sort, because I love making informed decisions. Fun fact, I'm not an impulse buyer. I don't buy anything on impulse except at the grocery store. So I wanted to give a really thorough review of the Louis Vuitton Papillon because it is not a popular bag, nor is it a bag that you can <laughs> purchase from the store right now. So this is a vintage discontinued piece, but I have so many thoughts and opinions on it. So I wanted to bring you guys a video. So first I just want to talk about how this bag came on my radar. This is actually a piece that was debuted in the 1960s, I believe. And when I started to get into Louis Vuitton, when I was like 12 or 13, <laughs> this was one of the bags that I always felt was so beautiful. There was something just very different about the shape I and mean, we'll get into that in a moment. So I first saw this bag decades ago and I wanted it, but of course at the time, your girl didn't have means to afford anything this fabulous. So I waited and then I want to say last year, my girl Coco McQueen purchased this bag and I was like, I need it. It's time. It has since been discontinued, so it's not a bag that you can just readily walk into any Louis Vuitton store and purchase. But when I saw my girl Coco McQueen have it, I was like, I need it. I also saw Ming Lee Simmons, uh, who is Kamora Lee Simmons' daughter, carrying this bag on Instagram, and I was like, I love it. It was just so beautiful. So that's kind of how the bag came on my radar. I've known about this piece for decades, but um, I'm finally adding it to my collection. So now I want to give you guys a little history about the bag while I kind of show you around. So this bag was launched in 1966 and Papillon literally means butterfly in French. So if you look at the bag, if you're carrying it by the straps, you probably can't see the butterfly. But if you hold the bag by the barrel with the straps to the side, you can see the shape of the butterfly. So you guys also know that butterflies are like one of my favorite insect animals. I have a few butterfly tattoos. So obviously that was another reason why I love the Papillon as it means butterfly. This bag launched in 1966 and it was discontinued in 2009. So the bag consists of a cylindrical shape with two straps. The original design did come with an attached mini pouch that literally looks like a mini version of this bag with a singular really skinny strap but now because this bag is discontinued people tend to sell that bag on its own so they can make the most money hey get it how you get it I understand when the Papillon was available at Louis Vuitton it was in monogram damier a bean epi leather and vernis leather I believe and this bag was also available in limited edition collections from Takashi Murakami which is the colorful black and white variations of the monogram print and also in the cherry blossom and I believe that bag had like a flap on top listen that was my era with Louis Vuitton so I've had this bag on my radar for quite some time and this bag actually came in four sizes a mini which is very very hard to find which is a bit bigger than the attached mini pouch it came in a size 19 which is also not readily uh, available on the pre-owned market it came in the 26 which I own and also the size 30 which is a little bit bigger than this bag and I chose the size 26 because I really wanted a bag that I could wear whether I'm dressing up or dressing down like I am today and it still fits my style so if I could compare this to any size speedy I would say it's most comparable to like the speedy 30 it is a lengthy bag but because of the shape of it it's not that wide but you still can fit a lot in it let's get into my pro 
pros and cons now that I've kind of walked you guys around the bag. As far as my pros, the bag is beautiful, okay? I love it, it's gorgeous, it's chic, it's elegant, it's a statement piece just because it's different. Barrel bags are not something that's in right now, so when I carry this bag, the women that comment on it either have vintage Louis Vuitton or maybe they're just getting into Louis Vuitton and they wanna know like, what style bag is that? But um, it is a vintage piece, so I love it because it's different, it's classic, it's also casual, yet it can be dressed up and down. Let's see, another pro would be that this bag, I'll see if I can find the date stamp. If I can't, I will insert it on the screen from the listing. But I wanna say this bag that I have is from the early 2000s. The quality is night and day with what Louis Vuitton is selling now. I always say it, it is true. I have a few vintage bags from Louis Vuitton. I have a lot of current pieces night and day. The canvas is thicker, the gold toned hardware feels thicker and more substantial. The bags just feel more quality. I don't know how else to say it. So I much prefer the vintage styles and also the materials and the quality of the materials. You can say what you want. You get your hands on a vintage piece from Louis Vuitton and you won't wanna go in store and buy something new. It just is what it is. So yeah, those are all the pros. Basically, it's fun, it's cute, it's different, it's very feminine, the shape is just fun, and it totally just looks like, hi, my mom was an it girl in the late 80s and 90s and she passed down this bag. That's what I see when I see this. Definitely nothing that is trending right now, but I love it. Now let's get into the cons, because I do have some. So the first con will be the shape. I mean, while it is an interesting barrel size shape it does have some cons that come along with it because it is a cylindrical bag it has circles on the side so it's kind of like a cylinder you have to make sure this bag is balanced let me show you if I put everything in this bag on one side and I try to carry it do you see what's happening because it is a barrel bag, you really have to make sure the weight of your contents is distributed evenly. Otherwise, you're gonna be carrying it and it's going to all go to one side. Now, I always say in my bag reviews, if you're not OCD, that might not bother you, but for me, that bothers me. So I have to be sure that when I am packing this bag, that I make sure the contents are evenly distributed because I don't wanna be walking around and my bag is like this. Once again, you might not care, your friend might not care, but some of us probably will. So the fact that you have to really be careful how you pack it, that would be a con for me. Another con, I guess, is that you can really only carry this top handle or in the crook of your arm. Now I'm a plus size 16, I'm a little juicy. If you are smaller than me, then perhaps you can carry it on your shoulder. I'm not even gonna try. You definitely can't carry a crossbody. I mean, I'm sure you could buy a really long strap and try to do so, but it's really meant to be carried top handle. Another con that you guys can probably see is wrinkling of the monogram canvas. So these two pieces on the sides are hard. They have some type of hard material inside to maintain the integrity and the shape of the bag, which I appreciate. But on the front and back of this bag, it's one solid piece of monogram canvas. And as the bag ages, it will start to wrinkle. Once again, if you're a little OCD like myself, <laughs> that may bother you. It doesn't really bother me because, you know, I know this is a vintage piece, so it just adds to, I guess, the character of the bag. But um, you should make note of that. And really, those are the only two cons I have. And they're all related to the shape of this bag. The shape and the placement of the handles, the weight distribution, and how the bag is just constructed overall. If you don't mind those two things, I think you're gonna love this bag. Of course, if you love the style, I understand that this might not be everyone's cup of tea, but for me, this is something that I've wanted since I was 18. And to have this bag now is just so special and it makes me oh so happy. So for all of the reasons that I spoke about earlier, this is a wonderful bag, but for me, it's only a bag for specific occasions. This is not going to be an everyday bag that I'm gonna wanna wear to work, the grocery store, shopping, on a road trip, on a plane, on a bird, or a train. This is really a bag that I only wear going 
out to be cute. So most recently I wore it out with a friend of mine. We went to a really nice restaurant for dinner for her birthday. I wore it then. It's a great dinner bag, a great going, I don't know, to a show or something. It's a bag that you want to bring when you can set it down and you don't want to be carrying it around all day. Also because you can only carry it from the straps. You don't want them to get too, too dark. So you should just be mindful of that. I paid $500 for this bag before taxes. I got this bag on eBay. I will link the seller down below. I do not recommend buying on eBay unless you are comfortable authenticating items for yourself or you have vetted uh, sellers. I've been buying on eBay for decades so I kind of know and I have a list of sellers that I like to shop from. I'll link a few down below. So I paid $500 for this which I think is very reasonable because if you look on Fashion File you can find a uh, Papillon 26 in good condition for about 700. So eBay is going to be your best bet but if you are not too well versed in authenticating your own bags I would steer clear just because it's easier to get got. I think I got a great deal on this bag. I love it. I would highly recommend it. Once again it's not something that I'm going to carry day to day but for a little moment here or there I love it. I can't say enough about it. There are some cons but the pros outweigh them for sure. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of my Louis Vuitton Papillon 26. This is one of my favorite pieces in my entire collection. Vintage bags just make my heart sing. There is only one bag that's currently for sale right now at Louis Vuitton that I would even entertain but I know that the quality of the canvas and materials is going to be way different from what I'm accustomed to so yeah. But love this bag so much. Let me know if you guys have any additional comments or questions. Be sure to leave them down below. I love you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!